Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys another Hearthstone Masterclass episode. Of course, it highlights another 12-win arena. Um, it's a very good run that I had the other night. The card quality playing Warlock is generally quite high, and this deck was no exception. I believe it was a 71-point deck on Hearth Arena, which is above average, but it's not, like, crushingly above average. It is just a solid deck, but more than anything, I talk about through the draft process how to balance value and tempo playing Warlock. Warlock is the number one class in Arena right now, but it's so easy to undermine your own deck by drafting process. Um, a lot of players at high wins are playing very value-oriented control decks, so even though you might have, you know, a, a warlock deck that resembles a constructed zoo lock, you're actually going to lose against a lot of those players because you're going to run out of cards before you kill your opponent. And by running out of cards, I mean running out of cards in your deck. So Warlock is at an interesting point where, yes, the card quality is there, yes, the synergy is there, um, but you know, if you have a deck that's too fast, you lose versus control decks. If you have a deck that's too slow and you try to match the control decks for value, then that's not going to work either because basically your hero power is worthless, right? So you have to have a deck that's right in the middle, that's fast enough to beat the faster decks in Arena and slow enough that with a few uses of your hero power, you can outvalue the control decks and win before you run out of cards in your whole deck. There's a few key cards that help this along in a big way, and fortunately, this Arena highlights most of them. So I hope you guys enjoy it, I hope you guys learn something, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Damn, why does it have to start such a difficult way? So. I've mentioned it a few times now. The main issue with Warlock and Arena is that you need to be able to utilize the hero power, but there are control decks out there that have just really, really heavy decks. So you obviously can't have a deck that's as slow as theirs because then your hero power is completely useless and you might as well be playing their class. So when you're playing Warlock, you gotta have a deck that's got enough big hitters to where through the use of your hero power, you can run the control decks out of cards and you can keep up with aggro still. That's kind of why Warlock is good, but you still have to engineer that situation because it doesn't just fall in your lap when you draft the deck. The problem with Doomguard is it's pretty bad for keeping a high value deck. I know it's an insane card, but yeah. The other cards kind of suck, so I think I'm just going to go with Doomguard actually, but not happy about it. Uh, removal's always very important. That's why Warlock does quite well, but Steel Rager really is removal. It's five damage for four. You consider a Shadow Bolt. Obviously, it can't go through Taunt, but it's it's very good. It's probably quite a bit better than Shadow Bolt, in fact. You're listening? Good, good. So in regards to keeping up overall value in your deck, I think I'm actually going to take the Weaponized Piñata. One drops are very good, but that's not a particularly good one drop unless you get a lot of mech synergy, which I'm not counting on. I'm gonna go with the Vryagul over the Blood Imp just because it's a slightly better card overall. Looks like we get a legendary straight up, but it's garbage, so I don't know. Clutch Mother is a whatever two drop and synergizes with Doom Guard. Works for me, why not? We are gonna need some whatever two drops at the end of the day. Lifesteal Taunt is a very good combination for Warlock. You gotta have those taunts, but yeah. Six cards in. I only have one taunt, but it's a very good taunt. I don't need that many. So I think I'm gonna go with the win more card. One drops are really good, but I don't have any other board clear, and you really you really just need board clears. So I like picking board clears early in case we're not given more later. I usually pick the ones later on anyway. Here I'm actually kind of tempted to take the flame imp, but whatever, I'll take the dread infernal. Gillian Royal Guard is removal. And we actually have a pretty strong late game base to the deck. We have to start drafting some more early game cards. Voodoo Doll's pretty interesting for activators. We have Dread Invernal. That's it, huh? Okay, well, that's probably not good enough. So let's just take this whatever two drop, I guess. Fill out the curve. I don't believe Stoneskin Basilisk belongs in the top bucket. I'm going to take a Bone Mare. Win more Taunt card. Pretty strong. We have quite a decision here. Twisting Nether is not as good in Arena as it is in Constructed. Yes, it's hard removal. Yes, it's board clear. But the problem with Twisting Nether is it's hard to play Twisting Nether and actually continue to win. Like, what do I have? Two two drops? And so I'm going to do Twisting Nether and play a two drop. No, my opponent plays an eight drop. And then it doesn't really work. Bone Mare not win more. Oh, yes, it is. If you're losing and have nothing on the board, Bone Mare is not very good. If you're winning and your opponent tries to play a minion that's slightly bigger than your board and you have a Bone Mare in hand, you crush him because you're winning. I'm going to take the Tar Creeper. 
Gotta get those taunts. Only one card here doesn't completely blow. I don't have much to synergize with the Buster. So we're looking at good 2-drop versus anti-mage. There's not a lot of mages right now, so 2-drop will do. Easy Dread Infernal in my mind. It's just the highest card quality, and we're still picking card quality. I like the Mortal Coil. No discard. Kind of like the Librarian, but we do need board clear still. We have skipped on two nethers now. Hellfire is a board clear that you can use and then play something big. Oh, whatever. I'm missing two drops, so I'm going to take the one. Easy Jelly, just card quality. Wow. Okay, so... This is a really important part of the draft. Right now, our mana curve is around four, which is pretty slow, but we still have 10 cards after this selection. If we pick Jaraxxus, the next 10 cards can just be all early game, and we'll still outvalue just about every deck because Jaraxxus is crazy. So while Hertharina is generally accurate here, that Jaraxxus is not particularly good right now because I'm not likely to be winning when turn 9 comes around, we have enough room in our deck that we can engineer Jaraxxus as a late game win condition, and I'm I'm going to pick Jaraxxus here, despite it being currently the worst card. Alright, so we want early game. Nothing else matters. Early game. Two drop. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Mad Bomber. What's early? Ah, this is debatable, but alright, fine. Eggnapper's a little bit more annoying, wastes more time from the opponent. I always wanted to pick Omega Agent. I'm glad Hertharina agrees. Mortal Coil strong. Heal. Let's go with a heal, actually. Heal's very strong when you're Jaraxxus mode. Yep. Pretty early game. I'm gonna take the Drain Soul 100% here. Just more early game options. The Pixie's ridiculous. Remember, your hero power is Jaraxxus 6 6. Shadow Bolt. More consistent removal. I don't know if I want to go with a Tunneler. Let's go with the big guy. All right, so we filled out the early game curve. I think our average minion right now is like three point something. So kind of mission accomplished. And I think this is actually a good deck because it's a very balanced deck now. 15-0 at least. Yeah, probably, probably not actually. Two, three, four. It's actually acceptable. Play Spider-Man. That's like, um... It's like a console game, though, ain't it? Yeah. I don't really feel like doing that right now, honestly. What? Not super big on this play, but I really need to keep up tempo, so whatever, it's fine, I guess. What are you guys writing about now? I will purify the fallen. Auction off uh, evening Hearthstone with Crip. <laughs> what? Oh, he's not too bad. Bomb it. Let's bomb it. Nice. Oh. Well. Not too horrible, I guess. Not exactly nice. Not too horrible. We'll go with that. Meat only diet. Uh, I, yeah, I think I have actually. Pretty long periods of time. And I've been a vegan like seven years now, but before that, meat was absolutely on the menu. And choosing taunts in your win rate in arena has gone up. Yeah, well, taunts are really good, so. It does sound like a legit practice, to me at least. Oh 
But is he gonna play anything that... No? Okay. Okay. I take supplements, I take B12. Grab one here. Damn, that sucks. Make things simple. Okay. Might kill me with double fireball, but fireball's pretty rare right now. Wow, this is zero zero game. Fuck. For the king. You haste Daraxus, and of our lord of the burning legion. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna play this. So if he doesn't ping that, it might just have a two-turn lethal with hero power. So it's one mana, his two mana when he's really behind. Oh, scratch that, I guess. Thanks. Hey, stranger, we'll offer you aid. <laughs> it's a decent-sized plant. Okay. Traxxas should have the battle curve win the match. Yeah. I mean, you guys saw the base tier score for Jaraxxus was like 80 points. On average, Jaraxxus is good, but not even that great. And the reason is if you're losing, well, it just doesn't do much. You need to be ahead to play Jaraxxus, and it basically solidifies the win most of the time. That's what Jaraxxus does, anyway. Yeah, I'll be doing subs tonight. Trying to do that every night moving forward. I'm not killing. I think that helps. Seems pretty bad to do that. Yeah, fine, I guess. Three despicable dreadlords and you steamrolled everyone with them. I mean, that does sound about right. You know what I wish I had right now? Despicable dreadlord. I would be steamrolling right now. <laughs> Hey, sub on mobile? I think you have to use like a link or something. I think I have a subscription link in the description by the subscription perks icon below there. People are definitely desperately asking how they can give me money. I'm, I'm helping them along, okay? I'm a fucking saint. Reporting for duty. Converting stored energy. That's pretty good. Do that. I don't care if he gains life, but I don't want him to magnetize and get a big guy right away. Mm, yum. Did I miss the damage? 
didn't miss one, Chad is dumb. Oh. Get in there and fight, maggot! Yeah. Okay then. Reporting for duty. Hey stranger, we'll offer you aid. Oh, that's pretty good. Watched in a while, but the stream looks exactly as you remember it. Oh. I deliver that premium nostalgia every day, okay? Every day. Shit. As long as it's not poisonous, I can manage it. Wow, so good. Drink root beer? No, probably not. I think I'm better off doing this here. Got him. Kind of looking at the board right now, and I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know, Dreitsky. Expect the unexpected. Oh. Wait, why is he? Why is he doing that? Well, how much damage do we have? 8, 10, 19. I am one off. Well, it was pretty good. Who dares Excellent. Topsy turvy turn. Uh, doubt it. Random legendaries potentially, and he's already pulled one. Nope. Justice. Yep. Nope. Guess that's it. I guess if he had like a get down, it would do the trick. He doesn't though. So, no tricks. The stream is always magic, though. Yes! Exactly! Thank you, Zeddy. Diablo. Nah. No Diablo. Yes, I do have an Instagram. It's actually linked below, and we posted some crap on it today, and the crap was pretty good. Ch check it. Sucks to skip the two drop, but we are going first, so it should be all right. Mm. I'll take it. He's double removal for that. Or no, you could just have the you have wrath coin or the spellstone or whatever. Everyone's so nice today. Jeez. Thanks, guys. What happened? I'm not used to this. I'm I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable right now. Like, all this niceness and I don't know what to do with it. Cooler weather. It was a little cool today, yeah. My 
Mushroom power! Yeah, that naturalize hurts a lot. Please, no more win more cards. Mm. It's like, like kind of manageable, I think. Plus, he's probably gonna go face because he's running out of cards. Yeah, I've actually been holding that last card for a while. Pretty bad. I think I'm going to take the risk. It could just die, but next turn I can I can heal a little and taunt up. I sense your okay. Still has the same card in his hand. No. I'm not sure it's actually a problem though. He does hit me for two though, doesn't he? Yeah, that's that's kind of bad. It's a good chance of a card like UI. Uh, could be like another naturalize. Um, could be like a spreading plague. I think it's one of these super powerful, very situational cards. No, it's just a 9 mana card. Oh, wait, what? Okay. It's not GG. I'm at one, and I have taunts. I have Lord Jaraxxus. I have heals. This is a winnable game still. Well played. Okay, he just topped like six damage, five damage. Damn. Yeah, the whole game was naturalized fungal mancer on the same turn. Op op. My opponent has cards, I know, right? Isn't that unfair? I'm not supposed to have any of those. Should we clutch it or wait for the inevitable Doom Guard? Pfft. Screw that. I'm sure the Mad Bomber can take care of that. I mean, his own life depends on it, so... Nah, I don't vape. If I did, you'd see it already. I didn't even look. That's five, I don't know. Yeah, five, that's good. I get the face damage. Face damage is usually pretty nice. So. Is that a problem? Hope not. I will purify the fallen. 
No, seems pretty good. Do cows technically steal your food? Yes. Holy cow is correct. Dark one snatch all. Oh. Good thing I tapped first. I was about to trade and heal. That shit's way better. Saved. Weird feeling that being watched by thousands. Of course. Four mana, three three. That just got top deck silenced. Yep, so good. Yeah, that kind of sucks. We are one. We are one. Thinking of shadow bolting instead of giggling inventor, because it would play around shadow flame. <laughs> How can I survive without bacon and eggs? Uh, intense training. Mm -hmm. Intense vegan training, yes. Accurate. You think you rage quit? Yeah, seems like you might have. Here, this will increase the rage. Just play that. If I coil, I'm not doing anything else. Let's just play this. If he wants to ping, that's fine. Don't get even value in that situation. Playing this because the bomber makes it deceptively powerful. What the hell? <sighs> Same bomber from a few games ago. One into the right target, two into my face. Oh, that's it? Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he might have a blizzard, he might have a flame strike, but I don't really care. We're in the business of pumping out cards the no warlock no way. No witch. Calculations. 
Foundations are flawless. I will purify the fallen. Rip. Maybe a decent recovery. Maybe. Hmm. Win the game, draw a card. Preferable to even win the game. I definitely do not miss the Death Knight cards, no. Yeah, in my opinion... The overall enjoyment of Arena has been... Um, generally a factor of how crappy the cards are that you have to play with. If you're playing with extremely powerful cards all the time, then Arena is not very fun. I think Arena is enjoyable. It's in a state where you can, you can learn from your plays. I mean, it's not that flashy. Not like, oh my god, I just got like three legendaries. Okay, I know this deck has like two, but you know, whatever. Generally, they, they don't have that many. <laughs> so. Oh, there's one. Two to the face? Oh. oh. What a kind bomb. Yeah, I'll take it. Good enough, right? Good enough. Dex. What are you barking at? It's nothing. I think he barks at the reflections in the windows. It's hard for him to understand that. Yeah, we have big windows, dark outside. It's very bright in here because I'm streaming. Dex sees the reflections and he thinks there's some shit outside. And he's like, the fuck? Get out of here. Good old git treatment. A wild arena event? Again, that would be like flashy and stuff, but it wouldn't be that much fun. Like you wouldn't play around nothing again. I don't want to play that. Screw that. Giggling for everyone. Yay. I'm especially energetic tonight. I'm really not. I'd say I'm normally lethargic. Neither snow nor rain nor witch. And there's no especially in normally. Can you hear the manual breathing? Oh yeah, it's the good stuff. <sighs> Let's give that a try. So Dex is like two and a half and Faye is like one and a half. Maybe, no, two and three. Two and three quarters and like one and three quarters. This is not good. Godfrey win me, wins you the game last turn. Well, sure. Perhaps. Still doing okay-ish. I love omelets. Yeah, still doing okay-ish.
Okay. Risky tap. Oh, I'm planning on tapping. Really now? I think I'm gonna go for it. You face Jaraxus, Eladon Lord of the Burning Legion. <laughs> Unity, precision, perfection. Really? Toxic Zilliax. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. Come, my pretty birds. Don't think there's a lot that helps him. So. That's fine. to seal out the game. Mecha Jaraxxus becomes Super Jaraxxus. People don't know that Brofists are back in full, so they're not quite ready to plunge the sub. Actually, I probably should have kept Jaraxxus now that I think about it. to win limited event. That's right. That'll probably be pretty interesting. You can't stop playing PoE, what should you do? Sell all your stuff and get uh, the void cards. Yep. Good luck. When the drain soul is just right. Oh, okay. My duty is to the king. For the king. Oh, oh. Uh, all right. Well, this 
this this game turned out just fine. Top deck galore. Well, in some countries they call this a uh, skill. So we're gonna move there for the night. Damn, that's a good draw. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's do this here. That, I should probably just tap, because I can. The frost wolves stand ready. Wait, what? what? Okay. You taste Lord of the Burning Legion. Yeah, it's Burning Legion, that's right. It's a, it's a good place to be right now. Thank you for the coin. Much appreciate the 6-6 six, six that I otherwise would not have had. Truth is my shield. The only way I can really lose is direct damage, so... I'm just gonna play it as safe as possible. Good. Smelly fish, yummy fish. Kim. The deck score of this is seventy one points even. There, less crooked. Favorite streamer other than Rania. Oh, that's easy. Me! I missed the point. Uh. What's the point? Doesn't have the coin, so... Looking at a Dread Infernal as the bad option. You can punish that with the Steel Rager pretty well. I don't really like either, though. I think I'd rather just... Keep that thing rolling. Relax. It's a party. Do I watch any of the streamers? No, I don't have time for that. It's not really possible to play around file. Destroy! Actually, it is. But, well, we're playing the Hellfire now. I don't know. Okay, that plays around with the file. It doesn't have a one. In all seriousness, the the third best streamer on Twitch besides Rania and myself in that order is probably Swifty's chair. I've seen chairs in my day and none can really put on a show like that one. It's really the best. Who? Wow, you guys are dicks. Computing. One shot macro. <laughs> yes, the one shot macro guy. That one. You got it. If I play the snail, it actually activates the file, so I'm just gonna pass. You just ranked every other streamer below a chair. Have you seen this chair?
Yeah, I can't play around anything. So if he's got Defile, good for him. But he's still at five, so whatever. Oh. You wanna blow something up? It's an RNG test. Test passed. Circle to pray. All right, Bomber. Are you ready? You know your task. 3% this shit. Yeah, maybe next time. Is that a problem? I don't know. Well, I'm not about to lose Jaraxxus potentially, so screw. Any kind of Doom Guard play for now. The scourge will devour all. <sighs> Wait. What? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Seems Seems kind of weird to me, I'd say. My eyes are open. Some pretty bad stuff. Can I do right? Ooh. Oh shit. That's bad. You face Jaraxxus, Eldar Lord of the Burning Legion. It's certainly on the not very good side of things. I'm gonna play that just so I could get something out there. I understand I'm missing incredible value potentially, but that's okay. Oh, Jesus. What would that pull? Death Rattle? Rush, rush, I have life steal. Let's do drain soul. Oh, it's pretty good, I guess. Okay, fine. My power yet. Yeah, I don't really want to die to like a swipe play or anything, so...
And that is gnarly. Okay. My duty is to the king! Well, the good news is that card's only been in his hand one turn, so... Oh, and UI doesn't kill me. I guess that's not too bad after all. Really now? And you thought you were close to lethal? Please. Howdy. Okay, I'm not too happy about that. Especially with the play that he just made, I did not expect that. The dark path is my destiny. It's pretty good. Ducted by aliens, what? No, I don't recall such an incident. to remember. Oh, right. My bad. <laughs> Why not? See what you're gonna get first, right? I don't know. Seems a bit weird. have been so lucky with this deck. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. My duty is to the king. I don't feel like tapping. I don't I don't need any extra cards to win this game. Well played. I guess. How do I not have a ban hammer emote? Because we hardly ban anyone. And people that do get banned, they sure as fuck know that they deserved it. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Yeah, this this is like the sanctuary of people who've been banned in all other Hearthstone chats. This is this is your last chance, guys. Don't don't ruin it. You know, we have flexible rules, but yeah, all right. Don't push your luck too much. Blood. 
I might not bomb it, because the chance it kills the Imani is close to zero, and I might do some nice deeps. Huh. Yeah, screw it. I mean, if he really wants to use a weapon here, he's playing nothing, and he's starting the game at 10. Oh. Damn, that's actually pretty good. Okay, I guess. What's the criteria for banning someone? I don't know if it's a good idea to go over that. But if you're if you're being like a total trash human being to not just me, like a whole bunch of other people, and yeah, dude, you probably should chill the fuck out. We're gonna help you chill the fuck out. All right. Let's just clear it. Doesn't seem like he has much, so he's probably is sitting on removal anyway. Would I ban Donald Trump? Are you serious? If Donald Trump was in my chat, I would have the viewership of all the world leaders and their henchmen. Sign me up. Hell no, I wouldn't ban him. Not really up to date with American politics, but Trump's made it pretty far. So, probably just gonna keep doing this thing, honestly. Oh, did removal happen? Yeah, it happened. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm trying to play this next turn so we could do this on 9 and this on 10. Come dance to my song. What about Justin Trudeau? I don't know, us Canadians were pretty nice, so... Even if he deserved it, we'd probably just leave him. Oh, that's like... That's like pretty good synergy right there, actually. Nice, okay. Time for another one. No, but that is not good. Okay, I guess. For the king. I compromise my integrity for money. How do you how do you figure? Hmm. I mean I it's fucking Twitch chat. Like my integrity right now and on most nights is to sit in a hot tub and watch Netflix slash Amazon Prime. So the fact that I'm not doing that means I'm selling the fuck out. I'm selling my body to the stream. Right? Sure. You got me. Crip gotten. But really, guys. Six extra damage is pretty hard to do, so... Yeah, that's pretty greedy. Bear your soul to me. Like. I wake once 
Combo! Triplicated. Could still die, though. Could be like Sapavis, but all his cards are very new, so probably not. Damn! Them Omegas. I think that is the first time I got that card, and holy crap, it does not disappoint. Oh, where are the opponent, huh? Okay, okay. I'm not going to go crazy to kill that. If he wants to heal that, he's probably giving up his third turn. That's fine by me. Is that the puzzle card back? It's not bad. Wow, the caps, guys. Chill out, okay? I know some of you guys are real proud of that. Okay, I get it. Those puzzles are not that hard if you look at other YouTubers who solve them for you. But alright, alright, some people didn't do that and they were pretty hard. What fools these mortals be? Does Hearthstone develop kids to have critical thinking? I know I'm being like trolled right now, but it's actually an interesting question, isn't it? I feel like the whole development of critical thinking is such a slow process that the pinpoint particular activities that are actually affected is very difficult to do. It's not like you got some dumbass kid and then he does one thing and then he's a smart ass, right? Like that's, that doesn't really happen. It doesn't it's not like snapping your fingers you got a smart kid, right? It's a long process, so So I can life tap for four. Destroy. Damn, what a what a deal. Okay. Do you know what I just did? I thunk critically on that, okay? I'm like, whoa, hero power. I have one of those. Deals two damage. Double. Double two. Double two is two times two. Two times two is four. Thunk it. Get thunked. Did you guys feel that crit? That, that was... That was a lot of crit damage. <laughs> oh, the triggering is real. Alright, no, this, this is bad though. This is real bad. Alright, let's... Let's try these things, I guess. Critical thinking and being a smartass are two different things. I don't know. Get get those gears turning in your head, basically. That's it, right? And enough of that. And you're, like, smarter. Bam. That's how it works. Figure it out, guys. Yeah. You go, you go like, coggers and, and co-coggers or whatever it is. Oh, my God. I'm getting destroyed right now. What is the other one? Coggers and what? Oh, God. oh C Coggers. Counter. Co okay. Alright. Oh, dude, I, I do not want to do that. Alright, screw it. I guess I want to do that. I'm just going to have to be in Jaraxxus mode for a long time this game, and being able to heal for four is, is not a small deal, right? But I'm thinking that I'm not going to Jaraxxus until turn 10 and save the coin for it. So let's just do that and maybe it'll work out. What you cogging about? What do I think about people that don't eat like me? Well, you know, that's fine. They're just like lesser beings without superhuman vegan powers. But that's okay. Not everyone can be super. Not quite what 
Remember Dragon Ball Z? Someone has to be Nappa. Okay. You, I mean, people have... Some people are Gokus, and some people are, are, are Nappas. And, you know, it's just how it works. I'm Nappa because I'm bald. <laughs> It's vent ventilation, by the way. Ventilation. Get it right. My duty is to the king for the king! Who would win, Goku or One Punch Man? Dude, I love One Punch Man. Is there like a second season? I found it on Netflix, and it's like from years ago, but there's only like one season, and it really seemed like they were building up to something more than one fucking season. April next year? God. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Not all are lost. Doubled! Oh, shit. Okay. That's pretty strong. As long as it doesn't get like death or mind control or something horrible, we should be good here. Name one show on Netflix that I've seen twice. There's only one. <laughs> There's only one that I've seen twice. I've seen Breaking Bad twice. I'm gonna tap. I watched Doctor Strange five times. No, I watched Doctor Strange twice, but that's a movie. He said show. In terms of movies, the movie that I saw the most times is A Christmas Story. I saw it like a hundred times or some shit. I don't know. Countless. Um, in terms of like movies, I willingly sat down to watch the actual movie. I think I've seen the original Matrix like 10 times. I think I've seen the 13th Warrior like a dozen times. I've seen Avatar like seven times. I saw the Dark Knight like five times. Everything else is like two to three at most. 13th Warrior is not a bad movie. Y you're bad. You, you bad. Yeah. There, get told, bro. That's, that's kind of scary, man. Oh. With unity. Okay. Yes. Avatar just has special effects. The plot is so boring. I wouldn't call it boring. And the special effects are fucking awesome. Plus, they're blue. Did you notice when they were blue? I bet you didn't. Game. Let's go. The thirteenth warrior was just it's just so epic. So epic. Double the Ferno boys. So, kind of bad. The taunt's probably a good idea, though. Hmm. 
I can beat mind control. I can beat a charge. I just can't beat holy fire. Now I wanted to keep the taunts up as much as possible. That was the goal of the play. And with that in mind, that is the best play. My power yet. Kind of bad there, kind of bad. If I buff that, I'll probably lose to mind control. If I don't play a taunt, I lose to a charge, but he has three top decks in a row. The chance he has a charge right now is low. Much more likely he has a mind control as a priest than a charge. Well, I have a Doom Guard in there, but it's 11 cards now. You have been. <sighs> oh. Jaraxxus wins. I think I've played this guy before. Rogue is obviously on the strong side of things. Going first with a 1-2, that's pretty good. Well, Dex is not exactly a puppy anymore, but sure. Okay. Coin here, power. Well, sometimes it's the best play. Getting a miraculous curve, though. Love that. Drink with me, friend. I think I'm gonna smirk. There's not much he could do with that amount of mana to punish, so should be alright. Sniper in chat, perhaps. Like I said, I did play him before. Actually, I really want to smark. Ah, there's no good smark play. It's probably better to play the inventor after he drops the weapon anyway, so I guess it's fine. Oh, he subbed. Oh, thanks for subbing, bro. That's sniper tax. Should probably change my policy, but... Sure. Let's turn up. You have made an unwise. Well played. What? Must destroy. I don't know if he gave up. I'm, I'm not sure what this is, though. It is some weird stuff. Maybe he has, like, mass attack buffs or something? I don't know. Mushroom power! Or slight attack buffs? 
Maybe slight works. Easy tempo victory. Damn, that was a crush. I'm telling you, Curve Mountain Arena is good. Turns out, it's pretty good. BM sub. Well, if he was watching the stream, he knew the BM was coming, alright. <laughs> 